Pittsburgh. You're watching ACC Network Extra. And tonight's matchup between the 7-5 Omaha Mavericks out of the Summit League and the 9-2 Pitt Panthers gathering together from the ACC. Welcome inside the Peterson Event Center, Jeff Hathorne and Curtis Aiken. Last time out, the Panthers talking about getting the game together. First and second half married together against the Owls. They were able to do it. No question about it. You're talking about 14 from 18 uh, from the field, 77%, 57% from three. They really did a nice job of putting two halves together, but it started with this guy here, Ryan Luther, as you see the nice move over the shoulder and great find by Mike Young. Ryan Luther was on fire this night. But I tell you what, this is the guy that scored 31 points. It was his night in terms of scoring the basketball. He did it in a variety of ways. Here you see him take the ball to the basket. But the difference in this team, Jeff, when you look at this team, is the fact that, no question, this is the man, Mike Young, but he's doing a much better job of finding guys out of double teams as you saw a nice cutting Ryan Luther for a slam. Jamel Artis with 31, nearly shooting 50% from the floor, nearly seven against seven assists a game for Tradeon Hollins. Well, Hollins is the guy I like. You talk about the assists, but this guy led the nation in steals a year ago and on his way to do that again now. This is a very nice matchup, one to look forward to. And a very impressive assist to turnover ratio for artists. As we get ready for tip here at the Peterson Event Center, college basketball will be a few days before Christmas, final game for each team before the holiday as we get set to go. It's been exciting so far in the non-conference play. We expect another high-scoring affair. Tip one by Omaha, but knocked out of bounds will be Omaha basketball. Gibson makes his first career start for the Mavericks. Another guy you gotta watch out for is Treshawn Thurman. Starting lineup for the Panthers is the same. Four seniors and Cam Johnson. First possession of the game. It's an Omaha team that wants to get those possessions going coming in at 7-5 and five on the year. No question. You talked about Thurman, but he's the guy that Coach Dolan says he's similar to Mike Young. Not as skilled, but that's the guy that this team puts their, puts their uh, trust in and gets, gets him involved early. Three-pointer to start it. And rebound by Jones. Over to Artis, Bill Covington, Louis Andracos. AJ Desai are your officials. Thurman, quickly, you see that quick movement and transition and a four-point opportunity for Gibson. JT Gibson, the former Mr. Basketball out of Minnesota. As we see Darren Hansen in his 12th season, second full season in Division I. Well, Hansen's getting his way so far. He wanted to get, have this be an up tipple game. First bucket started off in transition, and that's the one area that Coach Stalin said he was a little concerned about is the transition game. Guys have to get back in transition. Four-point play there. He can't be happy so far. Panthers' second opportunity. Panthers working around the top. Back cut by Johnson. And a steal. And Mike Young able to grab it back. Eight on the shot clock. Quickly to Jeter. Jeter is going to work on Parag. And drives it in and gets the foul call on the big man for the Mavericks. Parag picks up the foul as we look at Kevin Stallings. 464 wins. Just one behind Mike Bray from Notre Dame among active coaches. And... Stallings will get an opportunity to rectify that a week from Saturday. That's right. It's a lot of wins. No, no matter how you look at it, that's a lot of wins. First points for the Panthers from Sheldon Jeter from the line. And it's a round and out. It's a 4-1 game here early on. It was just good to see that... Uh, Jeter got to the line. He hadn't been getting involved in the offense much lately. Gibson stepped back and a rebound to Young. Artis is going to try the three and ties the game. How smooth was that? Jamel Artis in transition. In the flow. It's what we should see. Is we're expecting another high scoring game. We've seen a bunch of them so far from the Panthers. Thurman no good, and here's another rebound to Mike Young, and he's going to bring it up himself. How about that? Your five guy rebounds the ball and pushes it up. And you can see the size advantage for Artis Johnson. Young from the baseline, right there. First Panther lead. Beautiful find by Johnson. He draws a lot of attention because he can shoot the ball 
from anywhere on the court. Unbelievable range. Barag down low working against him. Good backdoor cut and a layup for the Mavericks. First points for Hollins. Hollins did a nice job of recognizing Chris Jones went to sleep, took him back door. Things Kevin Stallings told us, this is a very well-coached Omaha basketball team. It's a very disciplined team, and they run their sets. They don't break down defensively. Artis. Spin, ball loose, able to corral. Shot clock running out, and rebound to Parag. High drive and kick out to Hollins. Hollins calling a play. It's going to drive against Jeter, and a travel call. Turnover on the Mavericks, number one. It's a beautiful find I talked about. No look pass by Cam Johnson and Mike Young did the rest. Knockdown. Six all here. Panthers in the home white. Visiting Black Four Omaha. Johnson thought about it. It's going to cross over and a pushing foul called on Gibson. JT Gibson, his first foul. Second on the Mavericks. That's one thing, Jeff, that Johnson has to do. He has to pick his spots and decide at times to drive the ball to the basket just to keep him honest. He's such a great jump shooter. And guys anticipate him shooting jumper, as you see here. Butter. Off the inbound. Cam Johnson hits the three. Yep, but you set him up by taking the ball to the basket. You give him any daylight, though. He's, he's too much light. He definitely has size working to his advantage against this Mavericks team. Since most teams at 6'7", and that kind of length, if you had to get up off the floor and see the rim, gives you a big advantage. Baseline jumper right there from Treshawn Terman. Terman. Terman with the back up, fade away. Thurman scores. Three on the board for the Mavericks and an out of bounds to the Panthers. Panthers a one-point lead, entertaining first couple of minutes as Panthers hit a three to take the lead. Let's put a new spin on gift giving and go to a place with the best gifts and best brands all in one place. Let's put something under the tree that will get used all year. Right now, this Roby 4-piece Super Combo Kit is just $129, only at the Home Depot. Get a free ZTE Maven 2 smartphone from AT&T Go Phone. It's the season for giving. No annual contract or credit check, all on the AT&T 4G LTE network. Get a free ZTE Maven 2 with a new line of service and minimum $30 payment. Offer ends December 31st, 2016. See att.com slash go phone for details. Panthers are headed to New York for the New Era Pinstripe Bowl on Wednesday, December 28th, where they'll take on Northwestern at 2 o'clock. The pit is sold out of its second allotment, but it has secured additional game tickets starting at only $55. To reserve your tickets, visit PittsburghPanthers.com and your chance in person for the final time to see James Conner and a great senior class say farewell to the university, and they've represented that pit script extremely well, especially number 24. No doubt about it. You know, I like the interview. I saw him the other day. They were talking about some of the seniors sitting out the bowl game. He says, hey, I want to continue to show these guys I can play on a high level. I'm balling. And Great turnover attitude. for the Panthers off the inbound. It's a third turnover on Pitt. Well, you can't say unforced. Those are actually forced turnovers. They're doing a nice job of getting the passing lanes and creating havoc defensively. Ryan Luther coming off a 20-point game. Checks in for the Panthers. Spin move by Hollins. Pretty move. And that was a design play. It was more of like a flare open up the middle and allow him to try to get to the basket one-on-one. -on -one. He did a nice job with the separation. Senior from Omaha with the bucket and the Mavericks back out in the lead and a good look back door. Chris Jones on the board. And foul on Cam Johnson as Tyus, Marcus Tyus was going by him. Here's the clear out we talked about for Holland. No one there to help absorb that contact. Nice fade away and finish it. Inbounds for Omaha. Trailing by a point. 
Norrell in the game as well. Daniel Norrell with Thurman, Tyus, Hollins, and Hahn is in the game for the first time. Ball knocked out of bounds. Chris Jones, nice hand. 17 on the shot clock for the Mavericks. Mitch Hahn, 6'8", a sophomore out of Nebraska. Really done a nice job of keeping a lot of local kids on this Mavericks team. And off to a 7-5 start. Hahn, the pump fake. Pretty look and a tip. Offensive rebound by Thurman up and in and the lead seesaws back and forth. Luther, Young, no good. Rebound. Tyus, jumper. Ball knocked out of bounds. And it will be pit basketball. Coach Henson says that his team had the freedom to take those type of shots. As you see, Tyler shot that ball. He was really one on three, but it was in transition. They don't mind if they pull up the three in that situation. Fifteen consecutive non-conference wins, as you see there, and another turnover by the Panthers. Looked over at Kevin Stallings and kind of put his head down and walked the other way. Well, I mean, you know, they have, I think, four turnovers right now. The Panthers do, but three, I should say. But you can't count how many times they deflected the ball, too, that also comes into play in terms of dis disrupting their offensive flow. Norrell guarded by Jones halfway through the shot clock. Good defense and the kick out to Gibson. Tough shot right there. Impressive shot. Six points now for Gibson. That was with the Mike Young hand in the face. Near steal by Hollins. We see the anticipation. Young's three right there for Mike Young. The artist made him pay for that mistake on the uh, trying to get the turnover there. But we talked about Hollins and his ability to steal the basketball. He's a thief on the court, no doubt, but most of his steals come off the ball, uh, Jeff. He doesn't do a, a great job of stealing on ball in terms of on ball defense. As you see, a nice rebound by Mike Young and pushing him himself. And Young with a near block as well, and the steal right back by Hollins. Two on one for the Mavericks. Good look back. Wow. And the trailer finishes Thurman with six. I talked about Hollins stealing away from the ball. That was straight up against Mike Young. Dribbled a little too far into the defense. Some guys have eyes behind their head. It looked like it steal. there, and there's another anticipation. Easy one as Hollins is able to ward <laughs> off well, he Luther, was, and now a four-point lead. He was actually trying to get a three-point play, trying to create the contact. Luther moved out of the way and gave him the easy two, but Panthers have to do a much better job of protecting the basketball. Biggest lead for the Mavericks, there and there again. it is again. Ball knocked out of bounds. It will be Omaha basketball. As Sheldon Jeter will check in. Quick hands, good anticipation, and you mentioned the well-coached. Omaha does seem to know what's coming. Well, you talked about scouting the team, and I think Coach Stone has touched on this. they actually calling out their plays and their sets before they actually run them. They do a good job of scouting their opponents. K.J. Robinson in the game. You see him with the basketball. There's the Panthers using it for the first time. Kithcard in the game to Artis. Artis is fouled by Hahn. He'll go to the line with an opportunity to shoot two. Not sure if Kithcard was the one that got his hand in, hands in there and got the steal, but Kithcard did a nice job of pushing the ball right up the middle. Artis filled the lane. 11 players for Omaha average double-digit minutes. Well, four players average double-figure points, so that's good. Good ball movement. Nice knockdown. Uh, they do a nice job of moving the basketball, and that's why you got the results that you do in terms of the point production from four guys in double figures. You see Kevin Stallings with instructions to his bench. Well, I'm not even looking that way, but I can tell you what he's saying, guys. Protect the basketball. We're throwing it all over the place. Six turnovers for the Panthers. 
and a two-point lead for Omaha. This Omaha team that won at Iowa. They're familiar with winning at a power five. Here comes Artis the other way. Panthers working the ball around the top. Nice spacing. Wide open is Jeter for three. And rebound to the Mavericks, Han. That's what happens when you move the ball and you get that kind of space, you get a wide open look. Jeter has to do a better job of knocking that down. Kick out to Norrell. Norrell's gonna drive the lane, lay it up, no good, but a foul on Jamel Artis. First foul for Artis, fourth on the Panthers, and it's been the quick hands of the Mavericks that have led them to the lead here in the first half. The steal there by Thurm or by Hollins, and then there's another one. It's 18-16, Omaha. Here you are on your way to work, and here are all these other people on their way to work, all going the same way, all stuck in the same traffic. Doesn't make sense. Hey, here's an idea. Go together. CT Rice can help arrange it. CT Rice helps Connecticut communities find carpool, vanpool, bus, and train solutions that'll make their commute easier. Find the ride that works for you. You can even earn rewards points and maybe make a new friend. Visit ctrides.com. Still time this holiday season for your procrastinators to book, visit and get stuff for your favorite Panthers fan. And the official Pitt team store is a place for new Pitt script gear. Shop online at pittsburghpanthers.com or visit us inside the lobby of the Peterson Events Center. Some beautiful new shirts, some great hats. I saw a really nice sweater for this time of year with script Pitt on it. Omaha up to and at the line. Trust me, that timeout for Coach Stallings was dedicated to turnovers. They have more turnovers than assists. Five assists, six turnovers. That's not the way you want to do it. You want to turn that around, of course. Daniel Norrell averaging nearly five a game and misses the free throw. Three-point lead for Omaha. Here come the Panthers. Artis, Luther, Kithcart, Jeter, and Johnson. We saw Norrell joined by Gibson, Robinson, Meyer, and inside to Artis. Kithcart, good pass. Maybe an overpass from Jeter. Out of bounds. Turnover seven for the Panthers. So we see Marcus Tyus check back in. Marcus Tyus for the Panthers decide to press a little bit. The old saying the teams that like to press don't like to be pressed. Let's see how they handle it. Little token, little token pressure, Jeff. Inbound to Han. That wore off some of the shot clock, already down to 15. Driving the baseline and stepping out of bounds is Tyus. Yeah, you want know, a token press at 131. Get the length up top, you want to just slow him down. And as you mentioned, there's only 15 left on the shot clock. That's all you really want to accomplish. Not necessarily trying to get a steal out of it. Double team of artists. Kith Card is open. Passes up the shot. Cam Johnson. Luther. Under 10 to go on the shot clock. Near turnover. Ball tipped. Jeter has it. Late on the shot clock. Johnson rounding out on the three. Offensive rebound to Artis. Lays it up and in. Right place, right time. Panthers shooting 60% which has helped even out their turnovers. Well, we mentioned during the time out there that they were only down two. That's unusual when you have six turnovers, they'll only be down two. See Meyer working down low, able to clear the lane a bit. Good rebound from Artis. Here come the Panthers quickly. Bounce pass, Kithcart. Kithcart loses control, but he's fouled by Gibson. His second. He's on the floor. Foul on GT. Two big guns for the Mavericks back in. Thurman and Hollins. Gibson's done a nice job, though, so far. 
Norrell also back in. We'll see a ton of substitutions. And when you're a team that likes to run, fresh legs always big. As Mike Young checks back in for Sheldon Jeter. Johnson down to Luther. After 20, he's yet to score. Drives, tries to create some room, gets it out to Young for the three. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. Off Hollins. Off Good Hollins. job by Kithcart to bother the senior guard. How about this? As I look at this stat sheet, they have 18 points. Three guys have six. Thurman, Gibson, and Hollins all have six. Make up the 18. Inbounds for the Panthers. And get it into the safety valve in Luther. Panthers trailing by one. You see the field goal percentage. Both teams executing offensively. It's been turnovers for the Panthers that have been the bugaboo. Jumper from Young, short. And ball will go out of bounds. Omaha basketball. Picked fourth in the Summit League in the preseason poll. It's a pretty good conference. 11th in RPI last year. And, of course, picked to win that conference is Fort Wayne. They beat Indiana already this year. I had an opportunity to watch some of that game. I was surprised at the outcome because I didn't see the end, but what a big win for that program. Matthias working the perimeter. I've actually seen Omaha use more clock than they're used to. Drive and rebound to Young. Here come the Panthers the other way. They have numbers. <laughs> Artis, three. Right there, Jamel Artis. Two-pointer, they're going to call it. Panthers is a team that's scoring in transition. Second to spare. Hollins gets it over the line. Good look down low. Pass and Thurman Hollins. finishes with a slam. The breakdown in defense there. Got to talk up. Weak side has to talk up. Omaha's first bucket in the last two and a half minutes. I can't say enough about Artis' game and how I like the fact that even when he scores the basketball, the other night he had 31, he got it in the flow, bad pass there, but everything was in the flow, no four shots. But he, even when they're not getting turnovers, Omaha getting hands on ball, getting deflections, altering what the Panthers are trying to do. Doesn't show up in the stat sheet, but I saw at least five or six so far, which really disrupts, disrupts the offensive flow for the Panthers. Panthers inbound to Kithcart. Eight minutes to go here. We see the four steals from Omaha. Good head fake. Young drive and score. Michael Young. He's a problem. Seven points. Tyus to Hollins. Hollins looking for a screen. Maybe a little pick and roll with Thurman. Thurman, turnaround, good rebound from Johnson. Chris Jones, yet to score. Uh, excuse me, two points. Luther thought about the three. Good head fake. He's going to drive the lane and stuff it home. <laughs> Ryan Luther over the top. He's starting to get a lot of confidence. Emphatically on the scoreboard. Thurman works the other way. Picks up the foul call on Mike Young. That's the first for Young. The Panthers lead it 24-21 as Thurman finishes a dunk on one end, and then Luther, not to be outdone. Wow, you're really festive? Well, this time of year, there's plenty to be festive about. Like what? You smell like nutmeg. Like the Hyundai Holiday Sales Event. It's your last chance of the year to save big on every new Hyundai. Oh, I'm feeling more festive already. Wait, did you say save big? Yep, yep. Oh, I think I hear holiday music now. Oh, no, that's just my ringtone. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. This is the reason to buy now. Get up to $2,500 off the new Sonata during Hyundai holidays. Here you are. 
Anything I can do to make your stay more magical? Well, I wish we could have even more park time. Have dinner with the princess? Ooh. I want to ride the monorail. Oh, and take a break by the pool. But be back in time for fireworks? Let me see what I can do. When you stay at a select Walt Disney World Resort Hotel, you get the most out of your vacation and your family. And right now, create a six-night, seven-day package, including a select Walt Disney World Resort Hotel room and theme park tickets for as little as $87 per person per day for a family of four. The Oakland Zoo Holiday Pack makes the perfect gift for any fan. Choose from two more home games, including pit against Notre Dame New Year's Eve and an official Oakland Zoo t-shirt at only 35 bucks. For more information or to purchase your Oakland Zoo Holiday Pack, visit PittsburghPanthers.com. You're looking inside the Cathedral of Learning Nationality Rooms. That's the Kwanzaa display. It's just a beautiful building. These nationality rooms, we saw the Austrian room, then the Swiss room, and then the African Heritage Room. Just a few of many rooms in that gorgeous tower. Very nice. It's been the symbol of the university for decades. Thurman to the line. With the Mavericks down three, which has been rare for them here. Very competitive first half. This was the matchup that we talked about <clears throat> at the top of the show. Thurman and Mike Young right now. Thurman is edging him out from a point production standpoint. Eight points. Young with just seven. Young has more rebounds for the Thurman's two. Unfortunately, Mike has three turnovers and no turnovers for the big fella Thurman. And Thurman misses both. Kith Cart running point with Johnson, Jones, Young, and Luther. Norrell, Thurman, Tyus, Hollins, and Hahn for the Mavs. Inside to Young. Young reverses. Five on the shot clock. Johnson passes up, drives, and it's knocked out of bounds by Hahn. Will be Pittsburgh basketball, just two to shoot. Cam Johnson ran out of real estate there. Surprised he passed up the three. Yeah. Lucky to maintain possession. The Panthers three of six so far from three. Have to get a quick shot. Johnson head fake. And he stepped on the line. So that'll be the eighth turnover on the Panthers. Jamel Artis checks in. Cam Johnson out. See Jamel coming off a 31-point game. He has nine so far here in the first half. Quickly, Hollins. Good look down low to Thurman. Ball gets knocked out of bounds. Omaha retains possession. It was too good of a look. Thurman wasn't ready for it, but if he was ready, he could have got an easy deuce. Nice pass by Hollins. Well, you see that Hollins and Thurman will be a factor in the Summit League this year. We thought about it. We throw Gibbs in there. His contribution. Four guys are in double figures. One of the better players for Omaha is not playing in tonight's game. Zach Jackson, Jackson. averages... 13 points, that's five the, and a half rebounds a game. That's the fourth threat. Jonathan Milligan checks in for Jones. Jones being checked out by Tony Salisi, the trainer for the Panthers. One of the best in the business, Tony Salisi. The, one of the most even keeled pe people I've ever met. Three pointer, no good, rebound to Young. Yeah, it's tough to shake him. I'm sure the players try. <laughs> I was one of those guys that tried. Never happened. Jonathan Milligan gives it over to Artis for three. <laughs> Biggest lead of the game for the Panthers at six. So deadly. Able to hold that pivot foot is Tyus. Down low, and that time he traveled. Held it last time, wasn't able to do it legally in the paint. I'm not sure what, I, this wasn't a Euro step. I'm not sure what this was, just a hop and a skip. <laughs> and a jump, that's not allowed in this sport anyhow. I think that's illegal. Drive by Young, no good, rebound to Thurman. Three ball right there from Tyus. That's that transition defense that the Panthers are not doing a good job of getting back in. 
first field goal in nearly three minutes in it. Here's another steal from Hollins. Quickly the other way. Tyus looks to tie it. No good. And an offensive rebound to Norrell, but knocked around. Finally controlled by Hollins. Gets it over to Tyus. How about three times from the same wow. spot? He's two out of three, and we're tied. And what that Hollins is just changing the whole complexity of this game. The Panthers were up six, had an opportunity to get it, stretch this thing out, and he comes up with two big steals and two big assists. Oh, it's man, another there's another steal. This time it's Tyus against Artis, and the lead back to Omaha. Wow. There are a few fans disgruntled here at the Peterson Event Center. Panthers won 15 straight non-conference games in this building. Kithcart drives at a foul call on Hollins as he was reaching in his first. That went from being up six to down two in a hurry. Turnovers gives you like those extra possessions. And the Panthers, I mean, I'm sorry. Omaha is doing a good job of making the Panthers pay when they steal a basketball. Kithcart makes the first free throw. This has been a struggle for Kithcart. Milliken's in the game now. That's he had only played seven guys prior to him, so. And the two big stars, 42 points a game sitting down. We'll see what the Panthers do. And it's probably just for a short time until the media timeout here. Well, the second free throw, no good from Kithcart. One of the things that happen when you turn the basketball over, you can blame a lot of times, you can blame that on fatigue. And I think Coach Dolans recognizes that. That's why he took those guys out. Beautiful pass. The lob, unable to finish. He just hung right there on the rim. But credit to Thurman. He hung with it, got the rebound, and put it up and in. He's a player. You can see why Kevin Stallings called him the Michael Young of the Summit League. Jeter, Luther, wide open from three. Luther. Red, hot shooting from Luther. He's picked up from where he left off a game ago. So Ryan Luther has made 12 consecutive field goals. I was going to say, that could be close to a record, but I'm flashing back thinking about the great players that played here in the interior, like Sam Clancy and Charles Smith, Jerome Lane. I'm sure those guys had some stretches. Ball out of bounds. It's a tie game here in Pittsburgh. Let's put a new spin on gift giving and go to a place with the best gifts and best brands all in one place. Let's put something under the tree that will get used all year. Right now, this Roby 4-piece Super Combo Kit is just $129, only at the Home Depot. When your holidays have a Hemi engine... There's no faster way to trim a tree. Great deals going on all month long. Radion Hollins has been everything we've expected from the Mavericks. There's no question about it. He's living up to the bill, and as you see, the nice cut there. But more importantly, he's been in every passing lane, it seems like, tonight. And he's done a nice job of finishing. We talk about points off a of turnover. There's a little iffy do there. A nice uh, <clears throat> turnover here again. Here's Hollins taking the ball right to the basket. And... He's doing a nice job of finding guys in transition as well. 17 points on turnovers. You see five steals in the first half against the Panthers. And as I said, they're making them play 17 points off of turnovers. And Hollins remains in the game. So does Thurman. Panthers still without Young and Artis. They're on the bench. See what the Panthers do here without their two stars. Over 50% of their offense sitting down. Well, even they need a blow, but not often you see them both get a blow at the same time. And it's not foul trouble. I'm sure it's coach's decision. Inbounds to Norrell. Well, it's coach's decision in large part because of the turnovers. Mike Young has four turnovers. Artis has three of the 17. Mullins working against Jeter. Down low. Meyer blocked and... Behind the back, save gathered by the Panthers. Panthers working the perimeter. 15 on the shot clock. 
Panthers nine and two on the season. This Omaha team has won their last three wins. They've trailed at halftime. Good head fake, and laying it up and in is Ryan Luther. He's perfected that head and shoulder fake. He does a nice job of getting guys in the air. And man, does he attack the basket. Three-pointer, no good. Down goes Norrell, ball out of bounds. Pit basketball, just over two to go as Han checks in for Meyer. You asked why the foul wasn't called there, but the feet just got tied up. The refs typically don't call a foul when you get tied up with your feet. Six fouls on Omaha, five on the Panthers. Johnson off the screen from Luther. No good. Rebound to Jeter. Knocked out of bounds. Panther ball. Tell you what, that's one of the few times that Cam Johnson cut the ball loose and it didn't look like it was going to go in. Because I swear, even when he throws an air ball, it looks like it's going in. What a beautiful stroke he has. But that one was off the mark from the beginning. Inbounds for Pitt to Luther. Good look down low. Jeter. Dribble. Lefty. No good. Tipped by Johnson. Oh, a near turnover from Hollins. As Norrell had turned his head, Omaha able to save it. Minute and a half to go here in the first half. Thurman, wild Ooh. head fake. And tip, no good. Rebound to Pitt. Pitt on a bit of a run, 7-0 run. As Jones got caught in the air, able to finish, though, and a timeout by the Mavericks. The 9-0 run from the Panthers. 37-31. Chris see. Jones almost ran into the back of Ryan Luther, but he was still able to get over the top of Luther to finish it. Maybe able to use Luther as a blocking fullback. Coming up at halftime, Kevin Stallings mic'd up. You get to hear from the pit coach behind the scenes, plus out-of-town scores, first half highlights and stats. And much more here on ACC Network Extra. The Panthers in Omaha, an entertaining first half. Some great highlights from this first half as well. It's been fun to call this first half with you so far. Jeff, when you talk about the end of first halves and end of games, that's what coaches put so much emphasis on right now. And obviously, with 2.18 to go, it's a lot of time left in this first half. But the Panthers have done a nice job, as you mentioned earlier, 9-0 run the last minute and a half. 2.32 it's been since Omaha scored. Here's the inbound. Walking it up the court, something you don't see much from Hollins. Thurman looking back door. Head fake on Jeter and a foul on Jeter. That's six on Pitt. Hey, to be able at that size to face a guy up and attack the basket either hand is very impressive. Nice quick first step. And Michael Young will check in. Jeter checks out with two fouls. Jeter has really been struggling the last few games. Hahn from three. The big man no good. Rebound to Cam Johnson. Ball nearly knocked away. And there's the second foul on Hollins. There's something the Mavericks didn't want to see as Hollins picking up a second here just before the end of the first half. Wouldn't be surprised to see him get checked out of the ball game with 101 to go in the first half. Don't want him to pick up his third, but looks like the coach is going to trust him. Johnson at the line. Coach Henson says, I trust you, young man. 78% free throw shooter. This stroke is too smooth to just be a 78% free throw shooter. Cam Johnson with a second opportunity for head coach Kevin Stallings. Both free throws down. An eight-point lead for the Panthers. And a steal by Kithcart. Kithcart, a little response to Hollins. The steal and score. It's now a 13-0 run here for the Panthers. And another near steal from Kithcart. Teams that like to press don't like to be pressed. And the best we've seen from Justin Kithcart here in his freshman year so far. He's playing an aggressive nice defense. Well, that's how he's going to have to help this team. You know, he's not the guy that's going to be out there to score the basketball, he, although he did there. He's the guy that's going to have to do those little things, get in the passing lane, disrupt guys on the defensive end, get the team set up in their stuff offensively. That's how he can make his biggest contribution. And 
And the free throw no good. So Panthers have an opportunity to build on this lead after the Norrell miss. Kith Cart. Luther. Still 15 on the shot clock. Young. Right there, Michael Young with nine. The Panthers lead up to 12. That's how you close out a half. A really impressive play. Good look down low, and Thurman finishes with the slam. And a timeout for the Panthers. It's the use it or lose it timeout. Yep. 9.9 .9 to go here in the first half. Really impressive first half for the Panthers. And after leading Pitt in scoring, with 31 against Rice, Jamel Artis with 12 so far in the first half. Really done a nice job as you see him knock down the triple there, but again, he's getting it in the flow of the game. He's not forcing anything, and he can do it, as you can see, from inside as well as out. Kevin Stallings told us he wanted to find a way, and they're looking at other ways to use his height. Obviously hitting the three, but he's also able to drive it down low. Jamel Artis, four of five, now shooting over 50% for the season, and he's averaging 20 points a game. I love his business-like approach to the game. He's never too high, never too low, always even kill, but he's assassin. Funny, Kevin Stallings told us after the Rice game, he said he praised Ryan Luther to the kids. He said... He walked out of the room, and then he realized, like, wait, Artis had 31, and I said nothing about him. <laughs> so he went back and apologized, and, and Artis said, that's cool. It's all good. That's cool. And that's all he said, like, that's cool. I tell you, don't let the, fool, the smooth face fool you with Artis. He's an assassin. Ten-point lead for Pitt. Looking to build. After the design play, Young, head fake, step back, three-pointer. Michael Young finishes the half as the Panthers on an 18 to two run to end the first half. Pitt leads it 46-33. Tradion Hollins, big for the Mavericks for yeah. the Panthers and Jamel Artis getting it done. Whatever you do, I can do better. Panthers lead by a Baker's dozen. Hi, we're the Holford Quads. <laughs> We're in eighth grade. Technology is the only thing that really entertains us. I'm going to use this picture on sketchbook, and I'm going to draw mustaches on you all. Using the pen instead of fingers, it just feels more comfortable for me. Be like, boop, it's gone. I like that only I can get into it and that it recognizes my fingerprint. Our old tablet couldn't do that. It kind of makes you feel like you're your own person, which is a rare opportunity in my family. <laughs> Tools are what empower us to forge a path and maximize our efficiency. Whether it's for work or for play, the Ram 1500 from the lineup of America's longest lasting pickups. Welcome back to the Peterson Event Center. It's a 13 point Panther lead over Omaha. Jeff Hathorn and Curtis Aiken, an impressive Panther run here to end the first half. Really keyed by their defense, Curtis. No question about it. You know, I, I thought Omaha's defense took over the, at the beginning of the game, but the second half, it was really about the Panthers, and they did a nice job. If you saw Kit Carr getting into the lane, uh, Artis was much more active, and the Panthers shared the basketball like I haven't seen so far this year to end that half, and they ended in a big way. A lot of those habits start in practice, and an opportunity for you to see what it's like as head coach Kevin Stallings is mic'd up. Slipping now, let's go. Get him, Jamel. Get him, Jamel. Eat him up. Uh, I, I have a, a big voice in practice, a strong voice in practice, and, and so I'm very interactive. You know, at times we, we try to have a little comedy scene. We'll have some fun, and some things will be funny. Uh, at times it's serious. At times, you know, it's like anything else. You're, you're, you're making a point in a very adamant way. Oh, come on, Jamel. Don't let that ball come in there. You got to come to a stop. But short of it, just come to a stop because we can't get illegal screens. I think the most important thing uh, relative to the composition of practice is, is variety. I think we have to vary up the things that we do, the drills that we do. If, if they get the same things day in, day out, day in, day out, they get tired, they get stale, as do the coaches. So we have to have 
four or five ways to work on transition defense. It can't be just the same one every day. Even as it pertains to warming up, how we warm up, we have three or four or five different things that we do just to get the day started with getting loose. So I, I really think variety is, is a real key. And then uh, my goal is, is to have a positive interaction, positive impact on each guy each day. Good job, Millie. Way to be physical. Good, Mike. Good, Mike. It's a good place to start. The reception from the players uh, ha has been outstanding, and their response to our coaching has been great. And so as long as we can continue to get that, we'll, uh, we'll be good. Stack it up. Good job today. Great look at the Panthers practice. You remember those practices, Curtis, oh, yeah. what it was like? Would you like to have had the, the mic on? Mike Young, speaking of Mike on, able to drill it from the corner. He's got a dozen. So this is going to Curtis. Well, Artis has been a difference so far. Both guys ended up with 12 points the first half so far, but Artis started off on top and ended it on top with the three. There is no typical day. There's nothing typical about making movies. I'm Victoria Alonso, and I'm an executive producer at Marvel Studios. We are very much hands-on producers. If my office becomes a plane or an airport, the Surface Pro is perfect, fast and portable, but also light. You don't do 14 hours a day, seven days a week for decades. If you don't feel it in your heart, listen, I know my superpower is to not ever sleep. That's it. That's the only superpower I have. <laughs> Take a look at the all-new Chrysler Pacifica. 2017 Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com, Best Buy. It's an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. Woo! Get more than a great deal during the Chrysler Big Finish event. Welcome back to Pittsburgh. A Baker's Dozen lead for the hometown Pitt Panthers over Omaha. As Panthers shooting over 60%, we're going to have some halftime highlights and stats. But it's not the only game going on. In this Commonwealth, there's this game. And then in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, there's a pretty big game as we look at the out-of-town scores. And Kentucky, a one-point lead over Louisville at the half. A lot of points scored in that game as well. You see Duke beating Elon, 72-61, a bit of a regional game. St. John's leads Syracuse by 10 in the Dome. Boston College trailing Fairfield at home by a point. You see Northern Iowa, North Carolina, Virginia at California, and Clemson and, Sal and California, or Clemson and South Carolina in a rivalry game. We have a lot of games coming up for you on ESPN. Starting with the Pinstripe Bowl a week from Wednesday. It's a 2 o'clock kickoff from Yankee Stadium, the Panthers in Northwestern. Then the doubleheader, second game here at the Peterson Event Center against Marshall. Top 25 action on New Year's Eve against Notre Dame. Women's basketball against number 11 Miami on Monday the 2nd. And then Syracuse on the road January 7th. We're back with halftime highlights and stats. It's a 13-point pit lead. Well, if you want to sing out, sing out. And if you want to be free, be free. There's a million things to be, you know that there are. Talk to me about the rating system. The latest report shows 9 out of 10 lift rides get a 5 star rating. Do you know how many stars there are in the universe? Yes. How many? Well, I don't know the exact number. 10 but jillion I... stars. So we should have a 10 jillion star rating system. I love the idea, but I mean it's hard to even get 5 stars onto the screen. Dark stars. Let them all dark. I talk to the coders. Getting ready for the start of the second half here in Pittsburgh. Panthers hold a 13 point lead over the Omaha Mavericks. It's been an entertaining first half, Curtis. Jeff Hathorne with Curtis Aiken. And uh, really, turnovers have played such a big factor in this game. It did. In fact, it gave Omaha a lot of confidence early in the game, but the Panthers did a really nice job the, the end of the first half of closing it out most of their points came off of assist assist passes and you, you know the tempo change the change when you protect the basketball the tempo changes and uh you know although uh, omaha did a really good job of forcing the panthers into 
unforced turnovers as well as making them pay in transition in terms of scoring off that points off a turnover 17 points for o uh, Omaha Panthers also continued the red hot shooting after 78 percent in the second half against Rice shot it over 60 percent here in the first half actually when they weren't turning it over they were shooting the ball pretty well and uh, they did as I mentioned they did a much better job at the end of the second half I mean end of the first half of protecting the basketball and most of those came off of really nice assists but it started off all Omaha as so Omaha was able to use their speed and anticipation as we see Traydon Hollins able to make a big impact here in the first half. No doubt. You said his name and you said it a lot because he was involved in just about every play, not just on the offensive end, but on the defensive end there. As you see a nice deal and just off to uh, Thurman, who did a really nice job. Ten big points the first half of Thurman. Good lead there. and Thurman was the recipient of a couple beautiful passes from Hollins. For the Panthers, they're able to get it done as their duo was able to step up. No question about it. We knew they were going to show up and 12 big points between the two of them in the first half. And Artis again, you see that an outside shot and he makes you pay in a number of different ways. And when you start paying too much attention to him, the ancillary guys, the other guys that don't make a big impact right away, show up. As you see Mike Young knocked down that shot, but prior to that, you saw a nice wide open knockdown by Ryan Luther. Mike Young had a head fake there right before the half. Mike Young, the high arcing jump shot in the Panthers shooting 63% in the first half. Well, you saw that nice shot by, by Young, but it, it was set up by a nice penetration move by Kickhart. Got to give him some props. He played a really nice, solid first half and probably played the most minutes he played all year in the first half of this ball game. Another stat that jumps out is the plus 11 for the Panthers on the board. Head coach uh, Darren Hansen was telling us before the game that he was concerned about Pitt owning the glass, and they did in the first half. They, they really did, and Thurman's only really the only person that's really hit the glass for Omaha, and that's something that they're going to have to correct the second half. They're going to have to find bodies and put bodies on them in terms of boxing out and trying to get more rebounds. Now, here's the good news for the Mavericks of Omaha. Is their last three wins have all been come from behind wins. As we look at some... Major scores there for the Panthers, Mike Young and Jamel Artis. Uh, the Panthers once again getting it done. You see that combination. Fourth in the country at 42 points a game. They've already got 24. They're more than halfway there to their season average. And uh, obviously leading the ACC are the Panthers in that deadly duo. They complement each other so well. I mean, it makes sense. They're roommates. I mean, they probably talk about every night what they're going to do in the games and where each other's going to be on the courts and how to feed off each other. And they do a really nice job of uh, playing together and, and complement each other in terms of their, their play. When asked to describe their relationship, Michael Young said we're brothers. No doubt about it. Panthers will get the basketball to start. Hit with their normal starting lineup. And the same for Omaha, although normal is as normal can be for today with Gibson starting. And again, Zach Jackson, double digit scorer, five and a half rebounds again, unable to go for the Mavericks. Well, 13 points is a lot of points to lose him on the road against the ACC school like the Panthers. Thurman gets the first rebound of the second half and the first possession for the Mavericks after the missed three. Hey, Thurman said, I can push it up too. Gibson steps out of bounds. So a turnover for the Mavericks. Not the way Omaha wanted to start the first half. Second half. Still caught up in the first half, man. That was fun. It was a fun first half. Jones drives, righty shot, <laughs> rejected. Big block from Omaha. You got to come in here strong, young man. Chris Jones usually does. He just kind of floated in there. Rog just sent that into the Panther bench. Still 19 on the shot clock. And he's in reset. You saw Darren Hansen, <laughs> the head coach for the Mavericks. He was fun to talk to as well. Mike Young working against Thurman. Artis, screen and roll. Four best players right there in that corner. Jump shot missed. Here comes Hollins quickly the other way. Good point, Jeff. A lot of talent in that corner. <laughs> Hollins kick. Thurman, good head fake. He's going to drive and double pump on Artis to lay it up and in. Really like his game. Panthers, 9-2 and two on the season. Johnson decides he'll take it. No one else open. Put it in. 
High basketball IQ, that kid there. Thirteen point lead for Pitt. That's where it was at halftime just a minute and a half ago. Tyus loses his dribble, has to get it back out to Hollins. Tyus drives baseline. Gibson three pointer, no good, and rebound to Mike Young. Young to Artis. Sheldon Jeter working against Perog. And a kick out, saved by Johnson. Still plenty of time. Young, just above the foul line, no good. And a rebound knocked around and controlled by Hollins. Young didn't seem to be Bodies balanced. on the floor. Uh, grabbing his knee, that's not a good sign. And an injury to Tyus. Mm. Maybe they just bumped knees. And it's not that serious, but it's never a good thing when you're grabbing your knee. You see the Thurman. nice head fake. You young guys got to understand those head and shoulder fakes. You got to show ball. You got to bend your knees down and really create and act as if you're shooting a jump shot, as Thurman did so well. So this young man, hopefully, he gets up and everything's okay. I is able to get up and gets a hand from the crowd. That includes Kevin Stallings. Yeah. Knees can be tricky. Sometimes you can walk off and think it's okay. Good point, Jeff. You never really know. You get that MRI. The senior from Minnesota is going to talk to their training staff. And as you see, Darren Hansen getting his guys. And one thing with the, as deep as Omaha is. Yeah, well, he says he's 10 deep now, so he's going to have to go reach a little deeper than he probably expected with Jackson not being here. And Tyus, Tyus is, is uh, okay, but if he's not back, you got to. Look for more bodies. Ty is going to go all the way back to the locker room. Spin move by Hollins. Lefty layup. Pretty move. He got it to go. I can anticipate a timeout here if they don't come up with a bucket and post dollars in. Down low, Jeter. Righty hook. And the foul. Really nice job of Jeter going over the left shoulder. Jump hook. His first bucket of the night. Jeter with three points. He's a guy the Panthers would like to get going. Yeah, yeah he, he has really not been involved in the act actually all year. He's been kind of in a funk. And once he gets going, this team's going to be really good. And Jeter finishes the three point play. Panthers' biggest lead of the game at 14. Good look down low, Thurman. A couple of moves down low, no good, but he gets his own rebound. Throws it up off the bottom of the backboard. Panthers control. Artist Jones. Jones dribble, good steal by Gibson. Thurman is going to drive. Are you kidding Head me? fake and picks up the foul as Hahn tries to finish, but the foul call before, and the foul on Jeter, his third. We see Ryan Luther quickly jump off the Panther bench. They're, they're, I had to check my stats. She did lie to me. He, he can't be 6'7", 230 with that kind of agility and, and ball handling ability to get to the rim. Special kid here. We're going to go Some above his season average. Big hands, too. Hit the ball. Looks like a grapefruit in his hand. <laughs> it really does. Look out, Summit League. I think they know what's coming. No doubt. Thurman, preseason all-conference second team. And that one goes down 15 points for Thurman. I like the big fella. It's a little trap action. Young is going to drive, hits it short, and lefty follow by Luther. Luther, 4 of 4. 
Still hasn't Nine missed. Points. Was that 14 straight consecutive field goals? Came in with 10 in a row, and he's 4-4. It's a wild three-point shot, and right there is Hollins. We haven't seen that today. Hollins in double figures with 11. It wasn't pretty, but it went down. Lead back to a dozen. Panthers have had issues in some games of closing teams out. The double-digit lead, These next few minutes, Panthers can really put some space between themselves and the Mavericks. Luther down low and lays that up and in. Ryan Luther, 11 points. Efficient. Luther coming off 20 points. His previous career high was 17. So three Panthers in double figures. You see Young get out on Hollins a little bit more after the made three. That's right. 14-point lead for the Panthers, and very efficient is Ryan Luther. 15 straight made field goals as Luther finishes, and the Panthers are up 14. Frustrated with glasses or contact lenses? Now you can improve your vision to 2020 with LASIK at LASIK Plus, America's most highly recommended LASIK provider. Now, for a limited time, get LASIK at LASIK Plus for as low as $250. Call now or go online to schedule your no-obligation LASIK exam absolutely free. Visit MyLASIK250.com or call 1-844-226-2020 for your free LASIK exam. of all we hold dear back home. Learn more at Navy.com. And move over Brandon Knight as Michael Young has passed him on the career scoring list. Well, Brandon is one of my favorite players. As you see a little if did he do there, he's a guy that loved to take the ball to the cup as he surveys the land and lays him up and under, but like to pass the cup, like to pass the ball as well as you see. Very quickly, a Julius Page from years ago. Nice setup by Brandon Knight. Passed up by Mike Young. Passed up a great one. 14 point lead for the Panthers. Inbounds for Omaha. And a ball off of Artis as Hollins was able to at least keep possession. 15 33 to go here in the second half. Panthers, one more non-conference game. This is Omaha's final before they start conference play. Panthers welcome Notre Dame here next Sunday. Omaha is at South Dakota on the 29th. Han misses the jumper, rebound. Tipped out to Gibson, who will try a three and nail it. Gibson's second three. He has nine. Lead cut to a dozen. Down low to Artis, and Artis is fouled by Norrell. We went to break. We mentioned that Ryan Luther had made 15 straight field goals. That obliterates the pit record. Wow. Brian Shorter once made 11 straight back in 1990. Hey, I may have been at that game. He may have did it all in one game. I remember he exploded one day and just didn't miss. But uh, I doubt if it was in one game. But you got to give, give props to Ryan Luther because when you talk about scoring at that clip, you know, without missing a shot. Most of those shots are coming from the interior. Brian Shorter was an interior player. I mean, you know, he, he, he didn't shoot any threes. Ryan is getting his from inside as well as outside. So you're claiming 11 assists on those. <laughs> no, I didn't play with Brian Shorter. But, uh, no, he, he, he was like the black hole when that ball went in there. It never came out. 14-point okay. lead for the Panthers. Good look down low. Thurman able to corral and a shot clock violation. That is something you don't see from Omaha at all. 
Not at all, but I, I can't say enough about Ryan Luther and what he's accomplished. 15 shots without missing. And, and that, some of those threes, incredible. you know, it wasn't just all inside. Luther's not had to work. Not just threes, contested threes. Big props. Young in the handoff, gets it back. Young is going to drive. Lefty layup, no good, but a foul call. As official noted, that foul on top of the head. The foul is going to be on Thurman, his first. Mike Young. I was just simply going to say, if Mike Young knocks the two of these free throws down, he would have 16, and Thurman has 15. Great matchup tonight. Fun to watch. I don't know if Thurman is quite mini-me, but he's different conference me. Yeah, he poses a problem, no doubt about that. I don't know if there's anything mini about Thurman's game. No. <laughs> you see Gibson check out. And the good news is Tyus is back in the game. That is good news. Hate to see guys get hurt. And he's a little ginger, but appears to be okay. And not every day you get a chance to play against an ACC school, so you want to make the best of it and the most of it. Panthers owning the free throw line. These are two teams that get to the line a lot. 20 times a game for Omaha as Hollins goes down on the three-point attempt, and he'll go to the line to shoot three. Didn't see the contact there, but obviously it was. Curtis, your son plays high school ball. Is that something that they teach, they talk about, falling down on threes? <laughs> no, not exactly, but, you know, he was able to sell it and got an opportunity for three, three free throws. He missed the first. Kevin Stallings was talking about a punt, or he didn't quite agree with that call. Right. Collins makes the first two. Yeah, he tripped him up. And as I mentioned earlier, typically when your feet get tangled up like that, they don't call that foul, but they did there. And all three go down for the Mavericks. Young was open for a minute down low, and a steal, as anticipating that once again, is Hollins. Tyus fakes, drives, foul doesn't go he'll go to the line but you can't say enough about Hollins and how well he plays on the defensive end because he creates opportunities he takes away opportunities from his opponent but he creates more opportunities and possessions for his team when he can steal a ball at that clip I'm amazed at what he's doing out here tonight we throw down I mean, he's, not, he's not playing against young high school kids he's playing against men out there he's Able to turn him over like that is impressive. Jonathan Milligan back in for the Panthers. Tyus makes the second free throw. KJ Robinson in for Tyus. So Tyus was able to at least get back out there for a little bit. Now Robinson in for him. This will be interesting here. Artists tested by Hollins. Just keeping him honest. Able to use that offhand to ward him off. We've got a foul, a hold on Robinson. It's four fouls on Omaha, four on the Panthers here in the second half. Panthers get it to Young. Young head fake on Thurman. Gets it to Artis. Artis lays it up and in. Young and Artis working together again. And a blocking foul on Luther. As once again, Omaha will go to the line. The average making 19 free throws a game. They're going to go to the line for opportunities 14 and 15. And before Young got the block, a little body. 
And that's why you got to play, <clears throat> play through the whistle sometimes. That was a heads-up play by Young to continue to go after that block because it could have been a three-point play, three-point opportunity. Daniel Meyer in. Kithcart and Jones in. Johnson and Young out for the Panthers. Panthers least to turn, did a better job of turning over, I'm sorry, changing the turnover assist ratio. 16 assists to now only 12 turnovers. Jones, thinking of driving, gets it back to Luther. Luther working against the big man, Hahn. Down to Milligan at the baseline. Luther, spin, righty hook shot, first wow. miss for Luther, and an offensive rebound by Jeter, and a foul call on Hollins for Hollins, number three. You know, you wonder if Luther was aware of the fact that he had, well, obviously he knew he didn't miss a shot the last game, but you, know, you get caught up into the game when you're in the flow of the game, and I wonder if he was aware of that he made his first five shots. Down low to Jeter. Jeter looked to finish a three-point opportunity, did pick up the foul, and will go to the line. So another chance for Sheldon Jeter, two for three from the line. We reset the lineups. Jeter in with Jones, Kithcart, Luther, and Milligan. Robinson, Norrell, Hollins, Meyer, and Hahn, although Gibson will check in for Hollins. When you talk about a guy like Sheldon Jeter, who's obviously struggling, that's the point guard's responsibility to understand your personnel. Kick carts in the game. You get a guy like uh, uh, Jeter who's struggling, struggling from an offensive standpoint, what is he best at? you got to recognize that. He's best at transition. So you got to get him out in transition where he can display his talents and his skills and get more confidence about himself. Point guard's responsibility. I had Hollins for one fewer foul as Gibson, the step back three. Good rebound for Meyer and a fight for that rebound by Jeter and the foul on Jeter. Jeter thought he had all ball. Sure That's... looked like it from this vantage point. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Yeah, it looked like all ball. Kickhart may have gotten there and, and hacked in the act. That's four for Jeter and four for Hollins. So two starters, one on each team with four fouls. And the applause you hear <laughs> is for one of the Panthers' fan favorites, Roselle Nix. What are you doing, young man? I'm not going to just let you go to the block. <laughs> Roselle Nix gets in the book just a second in. That may be the fastest foul ever recorded. <laughs> now we'll see what Rosie can do on offense. Looking for his first points. And Got him. Rosie working down low. From the corner, Jones for three. No good. Nix fought for the rebound, but a good box out by Meyer. Nix is light on his feet, isn't he? Nix is going to be thrilled. He doesn't get much time. Good head fake. Nix, big body, and a blocking foul on the Panthers. Never left his feet. Hands were straight up in the air. On Roselle Nix. And Roselle is a little surprised. Let's take a look. Hey, the foul should have been the other way. And Meyer kind of went over. Nix is back. Panthers up 14. Lions, Cowboys, at 8.15, Monday on ESPN. Come on, you crash the glass, yeah. you own the paint, yeah. that's how you protect your house. Yeah. State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. Come on. You crash the glass? Yeah. And you own the paint? Yeah. That's 
how you protect your house. Talk to an agent for help combining your home and auto into a plan that's right for you. Here to help life go right. State Farm. Panthers getting it done with their bench. Well, no, there's been no question about the fact that the Panthers have been trying to find that third option. But at least in my mind, when you go 15, 14 for 15 for 16 from the field in the last two games, I think someone has stepped up and, and showed and proved that they could be that third option in Ryan Luther. Solid ball game today, of course, 11 points on the night, but he has been so efficient, as you talked about early, earlier today, Jeff, and it's been fun to watch. 14 to 3 advantage in bench scoring. You see Luther with 14. That's the second foul on Knicks. And that's gotten the fans riled up here in Pittsburgh. There's a lead cut to 12. Let's see what Roselle Knicks can do with some playing time. It's only the fourth game he's played in this year. Luther, fake, drive. Misses his second in a row, and a rebound to Meyer, and a chance for Omaha to go on a run. Hahn thought about it. He's going to drive. Head fake. Tries to pick up the foul, and it rolls in. Wow. That kind of roll is supposed to go to the home team, right? <laughs> back to a 10-point game, and we're going to see the Panthers starters check back in. Kithcart drives the lane, and he'll go to the free throw line as substitutions come in for the Panthers. K.J. Robinson picks up the foul. Kithcart makes the free throw. And here come the substitutions. Rosie Nix and Milligan check out. Mel Artis will check in for the shooter, Kithcart. So you mentioned that third option, Curtis. Over 50% of the scoring coming from Young and Artis so far this year, and 30 points in this game. Well, you know, I can't discount the fact that I thought Cam Johnson has been playing pretty solid all year, just averaging, I believe, 10 points a game, and he's making a nice contribution on the defensive end as well. That's an area that he's much, much improved in. Both teams winning records. So Omaha with seven, Panthers with nine wins on the season. So we're here in the Peterson Event Center in Pittsburgh. Jeff Hathorne and Curtis Aiken on the call. Crossover by Gibson. Robinson thought about it. Head fake drives, has the open lane, and lays it up and in. And Omaha hanging around at that 10 point mark. Artis. Johnson thought about the drive, cut off by Thurman, then does drive and a foul on the floor. That'll be the eighth on Omaha. Han picks up his second. Cam Johnson, two of two from the foul line. Kith card for Jones. Johnson, nine points. Eight straight games now and double figures for the sophomore. Johnson 4-4 four four from the line. Lead back to 12. Crossover by Robinson, a drive, and an offensive foul as Luther held his position. That was a unanimous decision there. All three refs called that one. And Robinson was flying there through the line. Out of control. 
No argument from Robinson. He knew. He left his feet a little too early. Heads up play by Ryan Luther to come outside of that arc. Pick up the foul. Cam Johnson from three. He's feeling it. 14 for Johnson. Good break. Gibson jump shot right there. Omaha having to do this without trading on Hollins, sitting with four fouls. Artist three. <laughs> 17 for Artist, 16 for Young, 14 for Johnson, and 11 for Luther. Kick Kirk's in the game with five. Thinking if you're Omaha, you want 15 to get the basketball as much as, as you can. Thurman leads with 15 points. Working on Young. Head fake. Good look to Gibson. Good cut. Good finish. Omaha gets the deuce. Omaha has no problem on the offensive end. This is where they're struggling defensively. Started out doing a really nice job on the defensive end, but as of late, Panthers is really just taking whatever they want. Three straight threes for Pitt. It's almost like Omaha has run out of gas. Robinson just inside the line, no good. And another rebound to Cam Johnson. And Johnson is fouled by Thurman. And that looked like a boxer trying to hold on before the end of a round. <laughs> we will get a timeout. The Panthers doing it from deep to build a 17-point lead. Mel Arnes finishing here. done for the Knicks Celtics game on Christmas Day. Oh yeah, like Mrs. Claus. What? No. Like Joakim Noah. Twice this year, the ACC Player of the Week, Michael Young, showing it tonight. Well, no question about that. And you know, just talk about his ability to, to face you up. You're not supposed to do some of the things he can do as his size, as you see his versatility there in the past to his partner in crime artist, but to be able to step back and just square up and knock down threes at that size is just amazing. Seven of 13 from the floor, leading to the 19 points and three of four from three. I know coaches don't like when commentators like us talk about this and that why their guys were still in college talk about them on the next level. But I'm going to talk about him playing on the next level. I had an opportunity not long ago in this very gym to come to watch a practice uh, with uh, one of the executives from the Washington Wizards happened to be here and I sat with him and you know, asked him who he, who he was here to see and he said Mike Young. And uh, you know, the one question mark around Mike Young around the NBA is the fact that whether or not he can step outside and knock down that shot that we see him shoot right now with regularity. In that particular practice, Jeff, he made seven straight threes. I think he answered that question and continued to do so during the season. So Omaha down 19. Biggest loss was on the road to Iowa State. Three-pointer by Hollins, who has checked back in with four fouls. Johnson stolen by Gibson. Gibson going the other way and fouled by Young on the floor. <laughs> Obviously, if that look tells you that Young doesn't agree with it. Well, I thought he was riding him. It was a good call. Look, Young should be happy. He saved an easy two. Now he's going to make him earn it the, the hard way from the free throw line. Curtis, in those situations, you often see that the offensive player gets the benefit of the doubt if both are pushing off. Yes, no doubt. And right. rebound to Young. Worked out to his advantage. Picked up a foul and saved two. And added a rebound. His ninth. I played with a guy by the name of Jerome Lane. We swore he used to miss uh, easy layups on purpose <laughs> so he could <laughs> pad his stats. Unbelievable rebounder. He didn't like backboards either. I know you no, know that, right? Didn't. No, he didn't. 
Hollins to steal and attempting to get it down to Gibson, but throws it away. So a steal and a turnover. Talking about Jerome Lane, he's the first guy I've ever seen live. You know, I've seen it, of course, on TV, talked with Thunder and those guys, but I've never seen anybody live break a backboard until I saw him do it. That was fun to watch. It really was a... You have to have an attitude to rebound the basketball, and he had an attitude. Yep, no doubt. Tell you what, Thurman's a pretty good rebounder himself for the Mavericks. He has eight. He is in the top 20 of all time of Omaha basketball. Shot clock running down. Artis is going to pull up from three. And rattled around and out. And there's a rebound to Young and an opportunity for a three-point play. Perfect. So a double-double for Mike Young. It was a perfect example of how he can go and get that basketball. He was out of position. Actually, Thurman had the position that... I thought Thurman had a better position, but Mike just had the desire and heart to go after it and finish it. Has an opportunity now to finish off a three-point play. Young makes the free throw. 81-59. It's an 8-0 run for the Panthers. And really have busted open a 13-point halftime lead. And that's going to be a foul on Damon Wilson, his first action of the game as Hollins goes down. <laughs> Wilson moving there. First opportunity for Wilson, the sophomore guard out of Georgia. Hollins with six steals tonight. That ties a season high. With 6.20 to go in the game. His work's not over. With Wilson in the game, the Panthers pretty much have three point guards in the game. Wilson, Artis, and Kick cart. Artist crossover drives the lane on Hahn. Foul and a three point opportunity. I mean, on the clear out, he can just do whatever he wants. He has that ball on the string, and when he makes his mind up, he's getting to the basket. He's not to be denied. Great finish. You see him go for the continuation. You mentioned with Young, it won't be long until Artis gets an opportunity to play with continuation at no the next level. Misses the free throw, 19 points for Artis. Hollins, or Thurman rather, Thurman. is going to drive the lane and a foul on the floor. Panthers went to a 2-3 zone. They still can't keep these guys out of the lane. Thurman free throw, no good. Thurman, one of five from the foul line. We see Darren Hansen. His team will drop to seven and six. Their ninth road game. That's a lot of road games. <laughs> no doubt. And Thurman's free throw is again no good. Comes Kithcart quickly the other way. Back to Artis. To Young. Young, deep jumper right there. He's perfected that little 15-footer. Two dozen for Young. Driving the lane. Hollins lays it up and in, able to draw the contact. No foul called. Hollins with 17. It was six steals and five assists. 
Artis almost coughed up another steal. I saw Norrell going for that steal. We're under five to go. Panthers up 22. You see another opportunity for Rosie Nix in this game. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound to Hahn. Hahn, crossover is going to go the whole way and lay it up and in. The big man for the Mavericks, six foot eight and running the court. Something you see from the Panthers, big forwards. Yes. Card down low to Artis. Artis lefty, no good. Rebound tipped around and controlled, but out of bounds is Gibson. Gibson touches the line and substitutions each way as we see some of the Panthers starters check out. Artis, Young, and their sixth man, Ryan Luther, out. In for the Panthers, Milligan, Kithcart, Jeter, Nix, and Wilson. With just about four minutes to go in the game, I think it's safe to say you're up 20 that you finished out the game and had a solid second half for the second game in a row. Milligan throws the three. Off the screen from Nix. It's the one thing he does well. He can shoot it. Three-pointer from Thurman. Rebound to Roselle Nix. Wilson drives, lays it up and in. Good move from Damon Wilson. Nice move. Holland's the other way. Thurman head fake. Kick. Parag, no good. Rebound to Jeter. Jeter throws it away as he was trying to hit Milligan. Three-pointer from Thurman and a timeout for the Mavericks. Jeter's coming up a little lame. We've got a timeout here in Pittsburgh. Michael Young with 24 points. The Panthers lead by 25. But let me simplify it for you. It was weak. Terrible and obnoxious owner. Shameful. Outrageous. Can't win a damn football game. Pathetic. The debate starts here. First take, weekdays at 10. The college football playoff semifinals, December 31st on ESPN. Welcome back to the Peterson Event Center. The Panthers about to finish off their 10th win of the year thanks to their dynamic duo. And while those guys are good, this is the duo we're talking about. Jamel Artis and Michael Young. 43 points. Pretty much dead on with their season average, and they'll get to watch the last three minutes plus. You talk about being close. They sit on the bus together. they roommates. They sit on the bench together. And they whisper things to each other. They are brothers. Milligan from three. No good. And a rebound to Gibson. Well, well sure, during that timeout, Coach Stall has talked about finishing the game clean. Good look down low and a block and rebound. Roselle Nix. Nix said, you need to give me some minutes. I'm guessing at some point here, they're going to get the ball right there. And a double team down and a foul call. That's going to free throw. You know, I like the fact that he didn't try to force up his shot. They, they pinched down on him. They double teamed him. And he was looking for, I believe that was Damon Wilson cutting. He didn't, wasn't able to get it to him because he fouled him on the arm. But Nix is in the building. Is here. What a statement night this is for Washington. Crimson Tide trying for a fifth title in eight years. They want to be the best ever. The Chick fil A Peach Bowl. Then. Samuel cuts it back. Ohio State wins. Clemson can win the national championship because of that offense. The PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. The college football playoff semifinals. Washington, Alabama at three. And Ohio State Clemson at seven. December 31st on ESPN. See a black screen. What are you looking at? Crazy stuff. Man. You gotta see this. Hey, why, why do you see it? 
It's like some 3D virtual world. Can I see? Upcoming for the Panthers next Wednesday, Marshall, the final non-conference game, and then ACC plays begins in earnest. Three top 25 teams in the first four games. Well, that's the typical ACC week. <laughs> Rosell next, still looking for his first point as a Panther. Corey Manigault in. Same with Zach Smith. Get in there. <laughs> it's always good to see that. He works so hard in practice. He does everything that's asked of him. Roselle is on the board. Parag is going to fall down hard as he went to the lane, but appears Traveled. to be okay after he traveled. Your Roselle Nix gets his first point and comes down on defense, working hard. He traveled before the big man got down there. And Roselle said he would have a dream starting lineup as the officials are meeting. They're going to take a look to see if it wasn't a shot above the uh, neck to the head, which is an automatic technical foul. So Roselle said his dream NBA lineup would be Shaquille O'Neal at the five, mm -hmm. Akeem Olajuwon at the four. <laughs> okay, two as the we greatest. look at this play, and we'll finish it out. Yeah. I don't think there was anything there from Manigault <laughs> or from Knicks. Okay. The three would be Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan at the two, and Steph Curry would run point. What's that team missing? Well, I know you had, you need at least five balls to play that game. <laughs> with, with that lineup. I mean, Hakeem and Jordan, two of the greatest defending defensive players in the game. Mm -hmm. And you had in the size of Shaq, Durant, and Curry from deep. And, oh, oh by the way, Jordan could score the ball, too. Not enough balls. They have a ball each. <laughs> Make those guys happy. See Darren Hansen, as we take one more look, as the officials have met. And I don't see any contact with Parag. And thankfully, no. Parag is okay. Yep. Hansen doesn't want to hear it, though. I think Hansen wants the foul call. Hansen. Not a flagrant foul, but a foul, period. Well, he definitely traveled. He hopped and took two steps. That's travel. Even in international rules, that's travel. 91-68 Panthers. Uh, substitutions in both ways. Roselle, lefty hook! Three-pointer and a rebound to Roselle Nix. It is the Rosie show. We'll feed him again. Manigault's going to drive. Leaves it for Roselle Nix, but the foul beforehand. Let's take a look at Rosie Nix's first pit field goal. Nice, solid post up. You see the little guy coming, but he avoided him. Nice touch with the left hand. Give me the ball, fellas. Corey Manigault at the line, the freshman. And this is the first free throw. Manigault, six points in now seven games. How about seven and seven? That works. Ryan Seeley has checked in for the Panthers as well. The best hair on the Panther roster. Deep three from Gibson, no good. And rebound knocked around out of bounds by Seeley. Seeley couldn't squeeze it. Alex Alberry 
is in the game for Omaha. We don't see a lot of substitutions because they play so many guys. They don't. Albear is the only guy who hasn't played. Robinson from the corner. Hits the three. As we near the minute mark. Panthers shooting 59%, 56% this half. Zach Smith doesn't get the kind roll out of bounds. Mavericks basketball. Zach Smith, the transfer from Pitt Bradford. That voice you hear is Rosie. He's into this game right now. Fake. Jumper, no good. Rebound to Rosie. It's outlet. quickly outlet. Wilson, spin move. Righty, no good. Manigault over the back on the rebound. Rosie not just satisfied with getting the rebound. His fourth. Nice look. Tell you what, he's, he's, uh, he, he's been impressive. I mean, this is not a joke. He's, you made imagine. Some, he's made some good decisions, not just that outlet pass there, but he's gotten the ball on the post. He's trying to throw out of the post and got fouled. You know, recognize he had a little guy on him on the left-hand post. Finished with the left hand. Impressive. Backyard basketball for Rosie, considering his brother Roosevelt right. is a fullback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I wonder if anyone called foul in those <laughs> games. Officials asking the Panthers bench to sit. It's good to see that they're excited about how Nick's is playing and the contribution for some of the other guys that don't play much. Gibson makes the free throw. Head coach Stallings is still up because it's about cleaning, finishing the game clean. In spite Man. of the fact that this is their largest margin of victory so far. Another bucket. Oh, in and out. Rosie unable to finish. Manigault goes down but appears he's okay. Quickly the other way. Robinson will take the three and nail it. The lead 19. Shot clock's not a factor. He'll just dribble this out. And this will do it for the Panthers. Panthers' second 19-point win at home. The same score or same margin as against... Gardner Webb as the Panthers get 24 from Michael Young, 19 from Jamel Artis, and their 10th victory of the season. For Curtis Aiken and our outstanding crew, I'm Jeff Hathorne saying so long from Pittsburgh, where the final score is Pitt 94 and Omaha 75. To watch this entire game on replay, as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. The debate starts here. First take, weekdays at 10. Washington, Alabama, then Ohio State, Clemson, December 31st on ESPN.